Ooh. All right, let's see if we can get this. <sighs> this is rowdy, boys. Rowdy. What's up, sons? It's Blind Rod with Sound of Attack once again, and NVIDIA is intentionally gimping their RTX 3060 for mining. We're going to talk about that today, but before that, let's go ahead and get you guys into the Rocket Chat. If you want access to a privately hosted chat with crypto enthusiasts, make sure you click the join button down below the video. And then once you've done that, you can go over to the community tab and scroll down and find the secret registration URL for rocketchat.sonofattack.com. It's $1.99 for the membership and you can cancel that at any time once you have registered. We aren't going to retroactively turn off memberships or for the actual site, so don't worry about that. Let's get into today's topic. It is a big one. So today we are talking about this blog post from NVIDIA, actually from Matt Woobling, I believe it is. GeForce is made for gaming. CMP is made to mine. We don't have these CMP cards yet, so obviously this is kind of funny, but we are getting basically an announcement here for NVIDIA specific crypto mining cards, as well as we are getting kind of an announcement for what they're going to do to limit miners from actually purchasing GPU. So GeForce is made for gaming. CMP is made to mine. We're limiting the hash rate of GeForce RTX 3060 GPUs so they're less desirable to miners and launching NVIDIA CMP for professional mining. It reads, we are gamers through and through. We obsess about new gaming features, new architecture, new games, and tech. We designed GeForce GPUs for gamers and gamers are clamoring for more. Yet NVIDIA GPUs are programmable and users are constantly discovering new applications for them. From weather simulation and gene sequencing to deep learning and robotics, mining cryptocurrency is one of them. With the launch of the GeForce RTX 3060, mind you, this is the 12 gigabyte that they are talking about on February 25th, which is here in seven days, guys. We are taking an important step to help ensure GeForce GPUs end up in the hands of gamers having hash rate. So this isn't a good having like we've talked about with Bitcoin or Ravencoin or anything like this. This is having the actual hash rate. This is a bad having. RTX 3060 software drivers are designed to detect specific attributes of Ethereum cryptocurrency mining algorithm and limit the hash rate or cryptocurrency mining efficiency by around 50 percent so if you were expecting a card to get 60 mega hash a second well those dreams are now dashed if you have any pre-ordered you may want to reconsider but let's go through the rest of this that only makes sense he says our geforce rtx gpus introduce cutting-edge technologies such as rtx real-time ray tracing dlss ai accelerated image upscaling Neither one of those work good in my opinion. Reflex super fast response rendering, that does work good for best system latency and many more tailored to meet the needs of gamers and those who create digital experiences. To address the specific needs of Ethereum mining, they are announcing NVIDIA CMP or cryptocurrency mining processor product line for professional mining. We're gonna be talking about those GPUs here in just a tad on this channel tonight. If you're interested in it, hit the sub, hit the notification. There's a lot more information that we're gonna go over in that video, including projected hash rates, power consumption, payoff times, all that sort of thing, right? So I want you guys to go ahead and hit that sub and notification if you're interested in the in-depth of the NVIDIA CMP GPUs. So CMP products though, which don't do graphics, are sold through authorized partners and optimized for best mining performance and efficiency. They don't meet specifications required of a GeForce GPU and thus don't impact the availability of GeForce GPUs use to gamers. I'm assuming they're taking things out like NVENC, obviously, ray tracing modules gonna go in the trash. This is actually kind of good news, just so you guys know. They don't meet the specifications, right? So blah, 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 don't affect the availability, which they kind of will because you, there's still the memory modules. That's not entirely true. I want to make that clear to you guys. It will affect availability purely based on the fact that anything that's using memory right now memory modules in general is in short supply it's it it and these will obviously have to use memory modules so that's a little misleading uh, I, I, it will affect <laughs> the supply of geforce gpus it, don't 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 get 
don't get them mixed up here. So, but for instance, CMP lacks display outputs, enabling improved airflow while mining so they can be more densely packed. CMPs also have a lower peak core voltage and frequency, which improves mining power efficiency. Creating tailored products for customers with specific needs delivers the best value for our customers. That's true. With CMP, we can help miners build the most efficient data centers while preserving GeForce RTX GPUs for gamers. All right, my thoughts on this. First of all, kind of sucks. If you've pre-ordered RTX 3060 and you know you were expecting to be able to mine on it, that's not going to happen. The other thing that it does is it encourages centralization of mining operations, meaning one of the great things about cryptocurrency that I've always enjoyed, especially with GPU mining, is I could get gamers to mine on their gaming systems while not gaming. And in return, what that meant is that we were strengthening the network and we were decentralizing more and more and more and more. So if we're gonna start cutting off and splitting the cards up, I don't think this is any better than ASICs, for example, because now it's like, well, you have a specific set of hardware that you are allowed to use for mining and you have a specific set of hardware that you are allowed to use for gaming. And like I said, that really hurts the centralization or the decentralization of mineable cryptocurrencies. So from a principle standpoint, I'm not really a fan of this type of behavior uh, from companies or the way it's moving, right? But I do understand it and it is cool that they are giving miners an option. Obviously, they're making a ton of money off of miners, but the other thing to note is that this is probably, well, it's not probably, it has been stated that this is built into the software. So there's two things that means. One, if you are currently mining on any 30 series GPUs, you wanna be very cautious about upgrading your software, your driver to the latest version. This could impact other 30 series cards unbeknownst to you at this time. The best bet is gonna be staying on something like Linux or somewhere where you control that driver and you can keep that old driver. Windows machines with 30 series GPUs may go the way of the dinosaur for mining and that's a possibility that we need to keep in mind. This is software driven, meaning, right? that they can, in theory, implement this across all 30 series GPUs, which that means your 3070s, your 3060Ti's, and your 3080s and 3090s all of a sudden start getting half the hash rate. So prepare yourself, get a high OS USB up, get the latest NVIDIA driver that's out now before the 25th, and make sure that it's all set up and configured. Even take probably a USB or something with that specific driver on it, even for Windows, and put it on a USB drive, get it disconnected from the internet, keep that, the, you'll need the full fat files because you know, the, the installer, you don't want the one that downloads it, you want the standalone driver. So you need to extract them and keep them somewhere safe. You're gonna wanna get it for Linux and Windows and uh, every, you know, even whatever, Mac, if you're mining on a Mac. But that, that aside, I just want to give you guys a fair warning that because it's software driven, you may need to worry about this. So that's gonna wrap up today's video. Be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe down below. If you're subscribed tonight, we're going to be going over the hash rates and everything for CMP or the new crypto mining GPUs coming from NVIDIA. And I'm super excited to share with you guys the hash rates and all that, which I do have up and ready for the next video. I will see you next Tuesday.